2017 is the year of the dragon. No, I'm not talking about China or any other Zodiac calendar celebration year. I'm speaking of the one that the Holy Bible calls the dragon. That is Satan. Revelations 12 and 9 says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. This year, men will be falling from the faith like never before because their hearts are filled with wrath and anger. Racial supremacy, social activism, and knowledge of self will cause many to walk away from God and accept erroneous doctrine like never before. Not only will they fall away from the truth that they once believed, but they will attack God's truth in an attempt to discredit it. Men that you believed were true warriors for Christ will reveal their true motives this year. They will attack the validity of the Bible, the church, and the need for preachers, all because they themselves have fallen. These wolves are the ones that have refused wise counsel and made bad choices in the past that led them to feel inferior, hopeless, and hatred for God's way. This Cain-like spirit defies God's order and precepts. Just as Cain ignored God's warning in Genesis and killed his brother instead of just doing what was right, these men will choose to do what is wrong and bring harm to many that follow them. They are demonized and propelled by their own self-hatred. They will walk away from pulpits, churches, their own homes, and even their responsibilities as men. They are reprobates. As they attack truth and refuse God's warnings, their own bodies will begin to break down and they will be attacked by sickness and disease. These illnesses will overtake them because of the moral conflict that they harbor within themselves. Their own conscience will haunt them and they will turn to substance abuse to try to silence the small still voice of the Lord buried deep within their minds. Demons will possess them and use them to cause many to go astray. They will use the internet to lead many away from God's truth and be the cause for the damnation of their followers. We as the body of Christ must pray for them and those that they are leading astray. And we must make sure we are following God and not our own agendas during this time of deception. This will ensure that we are not deceived like the multitude will be. The year of the dragon is upon us. It's time to hold true to what we know and what we have been taught. It's time to place ourselves under sound doctrine and remain rooted and grounded in the truth of God's word so we won't be deceived. In 2017, we must be hearers and doers of the word so that we will escape this great falling away. 1 Timothy 4 and 1 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. I'm G. Craig Lewis of EX Ministries.